my name is Megan Giefer. I'm one of the naturalists here at Beaver Creek Reserve. July and August are super exciting times for us here at the reserve because that is when our butterfly houses open. So our butterfly house is home to hundreds of native Wisconsin butterflies and it's just truly amazing. So for those that are able to come out here, I highly recommend it. For those that are unable to come out here, we are making videos just like this one about different butterflies and caterpillars in the house so you can view the butterfly house from home. So the first video about the butterfly house is gonna be about a familiar butterfly, and a lot of you know this one. It's about the monarch, so let's see if we can find any. So the first stage of our monarch butterfly's life is the egg. So we'll be an egg for about three to four days. The eggs are really small, and they're about the size of a pinhead, so pretty tiny. And they're almost football shaped, and they're kind of like a whitish yellow tint. So when you're looking for eggs, you wanna look on common milkweed, swamp milkweed, any type of milkweed. And when you're looking, you want to look on the underside of the leaves. And for instance, there's one right here. And it's really hard to see because it's so small. So the next phase of our monarch butterfly's life is the caterpillar. So the first thing your caterpillar is going to do when they come out of their egg is that they're going to eat the egg shell. And you might be like, well, that's kind of disgusting. Well, they do that because they want those nutrients inside the shell. So then after they finish eating the shell, they'll then eat milkweed. And so they'll eat milkweed for about 10 to 14 days, so it's kind of a long time. So between these 10 and 14 days, our caterpillar is going to go through molting stages. So molting stages just mean that our caterpillar is growing and it needs to shed its skin. It's kind of like a snake does, because a snake grows and it sheds its skin because it's just feeding more and it's getting bigger. Same with the caterpillar. So when we're about the size of my pinky, that is when we know we're ready for our next phase in the life cycle. So what our caterpillar is going to do is that we are going to find a really safe area away from predators and we're going to spin some silk at the top. Once we spin that silk at the top, we're going to form a J. Now we're going to be a J for about one to two days, so not too long either. When this one to two days, bro, they're going to be forming inside and they're going to be getting ready for their next phase in life. So let's figure out what that next phase is. So what the caterpillar is going to do next after they're in their J is that they're going to split the skin at the top of their head and they're going to wiggle and it's going to be kind of like a little dance because they're trying to get that skin off. So they'll wiggle and get that skin off and once the skin comes off they'll do a little wiggle just to make sure everything is off but then they're going to sit there and they're going to sit there for about 10 to 14 days. This is the pupa or the chrysalis stage. As you can see right here we have chrysalises right in this corner right here at the butterfly house. And so as you can see in this picture this is what the chrysalis is going to look like when it first um, is formed. It's going to be green and it's going to have some gold specks on it. It's really beautiful. So you can see over here our chrysalis are starting to turn clear and so that tells us here that our monarch butterfly is ready to emerge. So when our butterfly is ready to emerge, this is what the first thing they're going to do. They're going to start breaking open that chrysalis and the first thing that's going to come out is that abdomen. And the abdomen is going to be really massive and we're going to come out with some really small wings. And so that's not what our monarch butterfly actually looks like. It's kind of the opposite. So with the, what's inside that abdomen is fluid. And so our monarch butterfly is going to be kind of dancing and kind of doing twists just like this because they're going to pump all that fluid in their abdomen into their wings. So their wings can grow a little bit more. Once we finish kind of pumping all that fluid into our wings, we're going to get rid of all that excess liquid because we don't need it because we want to be as light as possible. And then we're going to hang there on our chrysalis for a couple hours. So as our butterfly is hanging there, they want their wings to be as dry as possible because you can't fly with wet wings. So once our wings are as dry as possible, then we're ready for takeoff. So once we emerge from our chrysalis, we become a beautiful butterfly just like this one up here. And this butterfly right here is a male butterfly. And so in the butterfly house, we only have males in here. And that's because we want our females to go out there and lay as many eggs as they can. And so to tell the difference, males kind of have two spots on their lower wing and the females just have thicker veins. And that's how we tell the difference here. So thanks for watching this awesome video about monarch butterflies. So keep an eye out for awesome videos just like this one. Thank you. Hi, I'm Eric Keisler, Executive Director for Beaver Creek Reserve. Thanks for watching this great educational video from our staff. To find out more information like this and others, check out our website at beavercreekreserve.org.
You can also support us by being a member or donating to our endowment campaign, which is supporting Beaver Creek through this COVID-19 crisis. Thank you. We appreciate your time.